Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. God damn, it's been a little while. Um, before we start, let me just say sorry for the gap in videos. There's been about a two week uh, gap where there's been uh, no videos. Uh, and it's owing to a multitude of things. Uh, I've been on an XCOM 2 binge that I've been streaming a lot recently. Uh, I went away to uh, LA for BlizzCon. I was gone for a couple of days. Got back, was kind of tired, needed some time to recover, and all of that jazz. But anyway, I'm back, once again. Uh, and we are going to make this prison great again. If it ever was great in the first place, I can't remember. Anyway. Uh, I don't remember where we were up to when we last uh, played. I seem to remember doing this Supermax, redoing Supermax, and changing the regime for uh, everyone in uh, Max Sec here. Uh, we had some work to do with uh, pipes, which it looks like it's being done. That's nice. Um, and hopefully that'll mean that we're gonna have some water hooked up. Yeah, oh yeah, look, it's this main line here that we were trying to hook up for the water, for the sink, and everything else. We, we had some plumbing issues, I think, possibly, or maybe there's just no pipe here? No, there's a pipe there, okay. We'll wait for this plumbing work to finish and then we should be fine. We now have 130 guards. We have two people on death row, Violet Waterhouse and Victoria Mundy. One of which was problematic, I seem to recall. One of them was uh, quite volatile and caused a lot of problems, but she'll get her frying soon enough. Uh, we also have some heating issues, potentially, I think. The temperature in the nursery is very cold, it turns out. So let's fix that first, shall we? Let's get some heaters up in this so that these uh, women aren't going to be uh, too cold. Let's get some heaters like here, here, um, and then up here and here as well. And that should do the trick. Uh, we might even be able to piggyback off this boiler. Which it looks like maybe we can actually. Um, where did I put them? It was like here and here, wasn't it? And then there's like one here. Looks like this is like not getting far. Like the boiler, we might need to do some, some more boiler work. Potentially, but we'll see. I mean, even if we just have to put a boiler on the other side here, it's not the end of the world, right? Like we could just put one here, for instance. Hook it up with some power, for instance. Uh, get a big water pipe into it, for instance. And also then just get like the hot water because it looks like these ladies don't even have hot showers oh my god I can't believe it how do they let me keep my job like these poor ladies with childs are unable to even have a hot shower like that's disgusting I should be struck off the warden list or whatever if that if that's how they even do it uh, do they have like a warden uh, list like kind of like not saying that I'm a sexual offender, because I'm not one, but like if they had like a similar list that they have for sexual, like the sexual offenders registry, but they had one for bad wardens, maybe I would deserve to be put on that one, not the sexual offender one. I want to make that crystal clear, okay? If there's any doubt in your mind or whatever, just that the two aren't related. I'm just using it as an example and then obviously, you know, like talking about being a bad warden instead of like uh, being, you know, a good one. Um, okay, so hopefully that will sort out the uh, heating problems that we have in the nursery. Uh, while we're at it, let's just take a look and see if anybody else needs some heating. It looks like uh, we have a heater in Supermax, which is not really fully heating up Supermax. The temperature is 24 degrees in normal sec, which is pretty nice. Uh, it looks like uh, over here, the temperature is not great uh, because it's 16 degrees outside, which means that it's going to be 16 degrees uh, inside as well, uh, but then obviously when it gets colder, that's gonna be even worse. So let's get a heater inside death row. We'll hook that up as well. Uh, let's get a heater down here because there was some heating issues down here potentially in max sec. Uh, and then I think we probably just want to get another heater on the other side here for uh, super max. And then that should be us more or less, I think, sorted out. I think if we could just like get this like that. Where did we put the one in here? It was, uh, oh, it's been installed already. Okay, nice. Just like a hop, skip, and a jump away. And then we also had one... It was like here, right? We'll hook it up to whatever cell that is. Hopefully they don't try to escape for using that pipe. The small pipes, I can't imagine anybody trying to escape through. Unless one of the prisoners here in this ladies' uh, correctional facility, detention center, whatever you want to call it, is uh, the blob from a boy in his blob. I don't think they're going to get out of here anytime soon. In, act, in actual fact, I think right now the jail is airtight. 
uh, just to make sure that it is still airtight. Uh, there's no better time than the present to do a shakedown. Hell yeah, look at that. I mean, I guess we must have just done one, but we are surprisingly finding stuff. We're playing on max speed now. We've sort of transitioned from playing on sort of a slower speed to max speed. Just because we're kind of in a good spot here. We want to make some money. We got some plans. We got some stuff that we want to actually build. Uh, at some point in the future, so we're gonna need the money for that and the best way to get money in this game is to make sure everything's running super efficiently, which right now it's kind of working pretty efficiently uh, and uh, letting it run on the fastest speed so that the money just uh, keeps adding up. We got a workshop that we're making a lot of money off of for uh, exports and stuff. Actually, the workshop needs some work. That's something else that we can just add to the list of things that needs to be looked at probably fixed at some point. It looks like Supermax are enjoying some nice canteen time where they might be like talking on the phone with their loved ones. Uh, maybe we're out of money, but uh, there's... Well, no, actually, no. In Supermax, we don't need TVs and stuff in the canteen. Really, it's just they just need to be able to talk on the phone. Everything else that they need is inside their cells. They have TVs, they've got weight benches, they've got prayer mats and everything. So they can do everything that they need to do in the vast amount of time that they're locked up for during the day. Um, and then when they actually come into the canteen to eat, they can make be make a quick phone call to their loved ones. Um, and then uh, that should there be their needs all satisfied. Another thing I would like to do, let's just take a quick look actually at temperature and see if we're like a little bit more there. Hang on a second. We got a couple of piping issues here. Of course, I did not hook up these things. So let's just do this quickly. That should solve the heating problems in the nursery. So now the babies will be nice and warm and they'll have less to cry about. Because trust me, babies find a way, okay? They always have something to cry about. Wow, it looks like in 10 hours time we have a new death row inmate turning up, which should be some more money in the bank for us, which is pretty good. And three normal security. Our intake in the next 10 hours is not a big one. Uh, but we still have to make sure that nobody is uh, potentially getting killed here. We have uh, April Wolfinger. Uh, which we can activate, bring her in, see if she knows anything about some of these people with question marks against their names. Uh, if anybody needs to be put into... Um, oh, look at this. We've got an extremely volatile Minsec prisoner. If anybody needs to be rescued and we don't have the space in protective custody, we could just put them into minimum security. Nobody seems to get ganked in minimum security, so it's a safe enough spot for them, but obviously protective custody is ideal. They're never going to get ganked there. We really need to think about sorting out our protective custody at some point, because uh, it's not great right now. And we could also probably do with actually having like a guard patrol inside protective custody, just to make sure that these people are like behaving themselves and stuff. Having some visibility over them would be great. It looks like we've got space for cells here that we haven't, haven't used yet either. So that's potentially uh, some more stuff that we can have in protect, protective custody. Some more cells, some more capacity, some more people being protected in protective custody. It's never a bad thing. Okay, perfect. Shakedown is complete. I don't think we found any tunnels or anything, so that's a good thing. Um, I mean, tunneling hasn't been much of a problem in this prison for some time now, actually. It's been pretty good. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do, I think, is we want to replace these jail doors with remote doors, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna replace them with remote doors so that they're even safer. This is super max after all. So let's dismantle all these doors here. And then we're gonna replace them with remote doors. And then we're gonna get some servos in and hook them all up. And it's gonna be fantastic. Okay, it's gonna cost a little bit of money, but I think it's worth it. So let's get the servos installed all along here like this. And then let's get the uh, remote doors. These remote doors cost 500 bucks each. But they're strong as shit, okay? So when somebody starts going crazy and wanting to get out of here and they start like, um, you know, belly flopping against the door and stuff, these remote doors are going to be able to withstand the pain. Uh, all we got to do is get our dudes in here to like set them up and stuff and then we should be in good shape. And once they're in good shape, we're ready to go. We can connect them all up to here. Look, we can connect all the servos up to the door control system here. Uh, once, once they're all installed, look, there's one here, one here, and then we're just waiting for this last one. And then, of course, these construction workers, when they're done doing their bizzo, or their business, as I like to say, um, they can actually get out of the cells, uh, that they're in, uh, doing that 
Bidness as well. It looks like we have one left to install here. Uh, but that should keep the, the uh, residents of Supermax even safer. And then of course all of the staff that we have working in Supermax should be nice and safe too. Uh, or a little bit safer at least. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's just go quick build here then. We're gonna want to copy this like this. So get the servo and then hopefully they'll replace the doors and stuff as well. And then we won't have to do much around it. We hope anyway. Let's see. Uh, okay, so uh, we have uh, one minimum security, four normal security and a death row coming in an hour's time. And then we're gonna get April to uh, maybe give us some ideas to what's going on. Is there anyone, anyone that we've identified off the back of April making her way into the thing? No, it looks like everybody's fine. There's nobody really with any hits on them or anything like that, so that's good. All right, let's get these all hooked up here now as well. So like wh whichever ones are done, like that one, that one. Oh, that one, that one, and that one. It's always this middle one for some reason that takes some time to do. I'm not sure why, but there we go. Okay, so they're all hooked up now. Do we have the right doors? Yes, we have the remote doors. Will not open without a working servo attached. We have working servos attached, so I don't know what the, what the problem is. It's the same setup that we have on the other side. For some reason, these just like aren't working. Uh, it might be due to power, potentially, although it doesn't, it looks like it's fine, actually. It looks like power-wise, we should be fine. This should be fine. I don't know why this isn't working. It looks like we have a whole bunch of workmen stuck in here now as well. What the f fuck have you guys done here? What, what's going on with this? How come these aren't hooked up? <laughs> I don't understand. I really don't understand. Okay, anyway, day 64 begins. It's early in the morning. Everybody is going through their normal routines and it looks like Kennedy Scales, our latest death row inmate, has turned up and has been assigned to death row. This intake happened so quickly. I'm not even sure where all the new people are. It looks like they've just been put into the jail automatically and we know nothing about them, uh, but that's probably fine for now. Okay, great. Couple of early releases, this is good. This is nice, the money is just ticking over. I, I really, I'm not sure how this has happened here. Like, we're gonna have to probably dismantle these doors and then replace them, I guess. Maybe we like put them up too early or something. Let's get them all dismantled then, and then we'll get them put back in and then that'll be fixed and then at least that'll be done. I, I don't know what's happened. I don't know if we need construction workers to come in this way or come, okay, you know what? Come on now. Come on, we're gonna dismantle these. One way or another, they're gonna get dismantled. We're gonna figure it out, okay, team? I know that you're all stuck inside. So we've, we've managed to somehow incarcerate members of our own team, and nobody seems to want to help them. The prisoners have settled down about their work hours now. I guess they saw the last few days as something of a vacation. We can put them back to work without... Oh, yeah, that's right! Oh, man! They've had all this free time, and probably all of the um, all of the stuff is all, like all screwed up now. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean when I say this? Um, they probably haven't been able to do like any classes or anything like that. Okay, so let's give them some free time. Let's just change this to lockup. That should be fine. It doesn't need to be free time. Um, as soon as they're done eating, I think they can have lockup as well. They don't need more free time. They can have a big section of free time and then some work free time as well. We're gonna have to go in here, uh, we're gonna have to go to programs, and we're gonna have to reschedule all the programs. Okay, perfect, that should be fine. Uh, everything should be running okay. We got parole hearings, we got death row appeals, I think we could probably get a couple more of those. Um, and then we've got what, kitchen safety and hygiene. Is anybody working in kitchen? In, in our kitchens? No, these are like staff only, aren't they? The staff room should be staff only too. That's open for everybody. Classroom, mostly the kitchens are just staff only. We don't really want prisoners working in them. Okay, general education qualification can start. Alcoholics group therapy, let's get one of those going. And then spiritual guidance, we don't have a chapel, but that could change. We could look at getting a chapel sometime soon, which I think would be great. It looks like still, Potentially these doors are okay. Let's like let's lock these open then so that people can actually get out Dismantle them and fix them. Okay, that's gonna be the next step. Hopefully somebody 
with a brain is going to turn up here and do this. Okay, look, it looks like they're finally doing the work. So this is good. We can put the remote doors back down. The servos are working. I just, I think maybe the doors were placed before the servos or something. What? No, I, I just don't know what's going on actually half the time in this jail and it kind of annoys me too. Okay, let's hook this up like this because this is becoming a problem as well. We need to get some hot water over to here. It looks like we've, we're having some sort of issue in death row whereby it's Mundy. It's Victoria Mundy, the one that's causing all of the drama all the time in death row. Okay, we're going to keep a close eye on her. We want to make sure that there's no trouble with Victoria Mundy. All right, so... These remote doors then, again, let's try this one more time. We have five of these remote doors, uh, which we can't place in any of these locations for s some reason, I guess. Have, did we double up on the doors or something? What have What has happened here? There's a jail door here. I think we doubled up on the doors, you know. I think somehow we managed to double up on the doors. This is crazy. Okay, we're gonna have to dismantle these jail doors now as well. I think that was the problem. That is nuts. Okay, so we managed to put a remote door on top of a jail door. And that's why it's be it, it was it was not working. Okay, so let's get these remote doors reinstalled then, now that there's no more jail doors there. Somebody's just been tased. Uh, the corner of my eye, I witnessed this tase. I'm not sure who it was or what the reason behind it was. But it's happening. It looks like it's all happening in max sec. Maybe a couple of people are kind of hungry or something. I'm not sure. We are serving food by the looks of it uh, in max sec. So there should be no excuse. Everybody should be getting fed and should be feeling fine about the, the, the feedening. Uh, but still issues for some reason. So we might have to take a look at those after. Let's see what our needs are like right now. It looks like most of our needs are being met. Apart from literacy, which is becoming an issue. Literacy always seems to become an issue uh, after some time. Uh, what are we doing in terms of uh, having a library and stuff? We don't even have a library, do we? Maybe a library would be a good thing to have uh, for the people. Uh, to keep them, like, um, you know, at bay. That would be pretty good, right? I think maybe we can think about doing that. Our prisoner capacity is pretty high right now. I don't think we need to have, like, another... Uh, rung of cells here in normal sec anyway let's go for it let's make like a big old library so that these people can get their learn on uh which would be really nice look this is gonna be huge actually god okay i'm feeling good about this it's finally we're doing something that feels like kind of worthwhile okay library then uh where's the library it's around here so there it is we don't have a single library in this whole place that is a travesty you know these ladies all they want is a little bit of literacy, and you know what? We're going to be the ones who grant them that wish, okay? They come in here and they think, you know what? All I want to do is get smart. They can't even get smart on our watch because we're kind of kind of jerks about it. Uh, so let's get a couple of sorting desks set up with chairs, okay? We're going to put our ladies to work here. Uh, and then we're going to have a whole bunch of library shelves, uh, like so. And we're going to fill this library with... All of the books that they need, okay? We're gonna need sorting desks and shelves, and that's fine. We can do all of that. Look, we can fit all of these. Wow, okay, this is gonna be real nice. Now, I'm, I, th I think this is gonna be great. We're gonna have to assign some people to work here as well. We're gonna assign 13 people to work in this library. You know, you know what? For good measure as well, we're gonna make it medium sec only. We only want medium sec in here. And we're gonna assign a guard in here at all times, just to make sure. That nobody starts getting fresh with the books or trying to do any crazy shit or whatever, because that would be nuts. Alright, the remote doors are finally set up in Supermax, and we're ready to rock and roll. Man, this is nice. Holy crap. Okay, and we've got our very first library. The Women's Correctional Facility Institution of Upper State New York uh, Private Library. That's right. Uh, and it works on the back of just, like, donations from kind people out there in the community who are concerned about the um, the lack of learning that is afforded to uh, the women who are currently locked up in this place. That's right. You know what? We're going to go one step further as well for the uh, denizens of normal sec. 
We're gonna also make them a mail room here as well. This is gonna be great so that we can get some correspondence to these ladies too. You know, just in case they have some pen pals out there who wanna send them like used underpants so that they can sniff them and stuff like that. You know, like just, just typical sort of jail stuff, right? You know, like the kind of stuff that happens in like the movies, in the jail movies and stuff. I'm not saying it happened in Shawshank Redemption because it didn't. Okay, nobody was sending anybody underpants in Shawshank Redemption, but chess pieces were made. This was definitely a thing that happened in Shawshank Redemption, and why not, right? So we need a sorting desk and a table in here, and then we're gonna have to get some people assigned in here as well. This is gonna be one big mail room, and uh, why not, right? Let's get like, let's get it all sorted out so that they come in here, they can work the mail room, and then look at this. They can have like some nice tables back here. We're gonna put all of the mail on here. It's gonna be all sorted out. And one unlucky person is gonna have to come in here and do it all. It's gonna be terrible, but you know what? There's a lot of people in normal sex, so there's gonna be a lot of mail to deliver, so let's do it. Okay, we can get eight people working in here, and same goes for this one. Let's get somebody deployed in here to keep an eye on these ladies, just to make sure they're not getting up to no good while they're in the mail room. All right, we've got our first mail sack that's turned up. This, I think this is a pretty good use of space, all in all. I think it's gonna be good to get some books out to the ladies. We're gonna be able to get a cart. Once the bookshelves start getting filled uh, with like uh, literature and mostly horse porn, let's face it. Um, we're gonna be able to get a nice cart that we're gonna be able to wheel around normal sec and deliver books to all the ladies. And then uh, same with the mail as well. We'll get a rickety old cart and we'll get an old rickety man or woman to uh, deliver the mail out with like no teeth and with, but always with a smile and a whistle because of the no teeth. Well, like maybe like uh, like uh, like sparse teeth so that there's gaps between said teeth for the whistling to occur. You know, you know what I mean though? You know the stereotype that I'm trying to 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 relay to you here. Do you you understand, right? Okay, good. Anyway, it looks like Violet Waterhouse is pretty much on her last leg along with Victoria Mundy. They're very very close to um, getting the chair. The clemency hearing is not going well for them. It looks like they failed a lot. And then Kennedy Scales also failed her first one as well. She's down to 20% now. So, next episode, there's a good chance that we might be, um, getting some fries. Be pretty good. Uh, we've got intake turning up right now. Let's just take a look and see if we know anything about them. We don't. Let's get April in and see if she knows anything about these new arrivals. We've got four question marks that have just turned up. Let's just make sure that none of them need, like, any help. April is hopefully making her way to the... Wow, okay. Alright, I'm not sure how this has happened. Somebody has died, though, and I'm about to find out who. If only I could see who died. Okay, April, maybe you can tell me that as well, I'm not sure. We've got a fearless instigator. Okay, so it looks like we have somebody down here we have a, a snitch a lawn for okay you know what Clo chloe weiner let's get you into protective custody even though you're already in in min seconds fine and look we also have aha here it is avery pratt that well an ex prison guard and a snitch who of course is now dead okay we were too late discovering her true identity but it looks like, uh, of the new people that come in, there's one person here that we're not too sure about. Looks like it's a gang member as well. Okay, so because we don't know anything about Cora Patton, let's put her in minimum security where, where she'll be safe, and then once we know more about her, we can send her back up into, um, into, like, the, into the hardcore areas as well. Well, there you go. I mean, somebody died, but you know what? Snitches get stitches, and that's just the way it goes sometimes in these places. So what can you do about it? Alright, well listen, that's probably enough for now. Um, again, sorry for the delay in videos and stuff, but we should be back on track this week uh, with some luck. Anyway, at least there'll be some prison architect for you, so uh, that's at least something, right? Uh, we'll be back next time for some more um, chipping and chopping and shaping and changing, and it'll be great. And um, we'll see how our library and mailroom do next time as well. It should be pretty fun. Great! As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!